What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Pop Goddess Kiara back at it again with another video for you. And today we're doing another What Not Wednesday. So stay tuned to see what it is that I got. What's going on? So like I said in the intro, today is another What Not Wednesday and I got three pops from What Not that I'm going to share with you guys today. But first, I want to show you guys something really freaking cool, at least to me, and I'm pretty sure hoping that you guys are going to think it's pretty cool too. But the first thing I want to show you guys is a Secret Santa gift that I got. And I know Christmas was like, what, a month ago now? But we, well my job didn't celebrate Christmas Secret Santa-ish until the 15th of this month. Just because it was easier to get a venue for a cheaper price because you know every place else was booked out or they're charging an obscene amount which is understandable it's the holidays you got to get what you can out of it it's just how it is holidays is a money making time of the year and we all know that but i meant to do this video earlier but unfortunately i was feeling under the weather for a little bit still kind of am but i'm doing a lot better than what i was before so Without further ado, let me show you what it is that my Secret Santa got me. So her name is Erin, she is a co-worker, and I wasn't able to make it to the actual Secret Santa event because I was sick, so I just worked, and then after work I went straight home and just knocked out, because yeah, I just knocked out before I had to go back to work the next day. But this is what she made me, guys. Made me as Naruto. Now if that's not freaking cool, I don't know what is. Now she's, she has artistic ability. She's not really thinking about pursuing, well I can't say that. She wants to be a tattoo artist, but she's not pursuing like a art, art type of career, if that makes sense. But she knows I love Naruto. I have the earring. I have like the backpack. I have the Naruto, Boruto keychain. No, Naruto keychain. So she knows that I'm a big Naruto fan. Hell, my dog has a Naruto jacket. And a headband. And a hidden leaf headband. So, obviously I'm a big Naruto fan. So I'm very happy, very thankful that she did make this for me. It actually is with my, uh, it's not, it's not really, I guess kind of a Naruto shrine. If that, Yeah, it's kind of a Naruto shrine. If you guys like to see that, definitely leave a comment down below. And I'll be sure to make that video happen for you guys. But, without further ado, let us get into these pops. So, first thing first gotta get the handy dandy knife and now let's pop open these boxes and see what I got all right so the first one that I got I do remember well I remember buying all of these pops because I have slowed down as it were and I kind of keep track of what I'm buying now so I don't buy duplicates as has been experienced in some of my past videos but the first one I'm going to show you guys is Raven from the winter convention now I it's from the Justice League, and I'm a big fan of, not necessarily the Justice League, but Teen Titan S to the Young Justice League. The original Justice League is kind of just, eh, to me. You know what I'm saying? But I do have Starfire, so I had to get this one. Of course, it was sold out on the day that it dropped, and it was kind of hard to come by. Like, even on a, like, going on to the whatnot just to go to the products, it was very hard to find one for a reasonable price, because, I mean... When a convention pop comes out, you know they jack the prices way up. And it takes it a little bit of time to sometimes come back down. So I was able to get this off of whatnot at a very good price. I don't quite remember what that price is. But I know, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't more than 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure it was less than that. Quite a bit less than that. But yes, now I have Raven to add to my collection. I got to figure out my DC uh, shelf here because it's kind of... The way I have it said, it's, it's not going to fit a lot of pops, but I had to make room for the crap ton of Marvel pops that I have and the crap ton of Naruto pops that I have. But anyway, let us get into the second box. Alright guys, so the next pop actually comes from a Whatnot Auctioner that I actually... I go to her um, Whatnot Auctions quite frequently because one, she's a great personality too, she's just... She seems like she's really cool, really chill, and she always has a great deal on pops, and she's always giving away pops. Like, I feel like she's, I know she's making a profit, but I feel like she's making more of a profit, but she'll do like 10 giveaways in a row. 
and that person is my is mommy pops i always want to say miami pops for some reason but her name is mommy pops and whatnot and i know i just got barry sanders and i said i wasn't big into sports outside of wrestling but even though we're not going to the playoffs this year because it's just how it goes with us at times but i did get aaron Rodgers to add to my collection as i as you guys should know because i'm pretty sure i said it before i'm a green bay packers fan only reason why I ever really followed Detroit was for Barry Sanders and Emmitt Smith. But I've always been a Packers fan, you know, with the Brett Favre's. And now we got Aaron Rodgers. Oh, can you guys see that? I mean, it's kind of glary. Ah, there we go. So I do have this Aaron Rodgers. I actually almost bid on another one, but I wasn't 100% sure on which one it is that I got. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hold off till I do this video. And then when I go back into another auction, if they have another Aaron Rodgers... I'll more than likely bid on it depending on what it is. I really want the championship one. I know I'm not going to get it. I know it's up there in price. But that is my ultimate goal is to get that one when it comes to Aaron Rodgers. Honestly, I don't really know if they have too many other uh, Green Bay uh, po football pops out there. I haven't really checked into it to be completely honest. I've just been focused on Aaron Rodgers. But if you guys know if they have any more, let me know down in the comment section below. Because I'll be more than happy to look into it and see if there's any more that I might want to get. You know what I'm saying? And now into the last pop. I'm trying to think. I do. Mm, okay. I do remember what this one is. All right. I had to think about it for a little bit. All right. So now I am able to say that I technically, technically have the full collection of this new line that just came out. And, you know, not including the, uh, the add-ons that they normally do after they've had the first wave of the, of the series. But what I'm talking about is that I now have Lumiere. This one was a hard pop to find, surprisingly enough. I was going to think that a Beauty and the Beast pop was going to be so hard to find, especially Lumiere. But finally I was able to get him. He was on a, a whatnot auction. And they only had one. So I think a lot of the stuff they had a quantity of two or three, but this was the only one that they had. Ironically enough, I went to their live stream, I want to say like two days after, and they had another one. So obviously they were just doing what they had to do in order to make a profit, which I'm not mad about. I'm not mad at them for it. You got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? But yes, yeah, so now I have the full line to the newest Beauty and the Beast collection. The only one now that I have to get is Cogsworth and the, uh, was that? The pie, like the burnt pie. Well, the burnt pie one is a chase. I really want that one, but if I can't get that one, I'll settle for the common as well. But I do have to get that one. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I couldn't find it in stores, Funko Shop. So I'm definitely going to have to do a whatnot search. I haven't looked as much as I probably should have because, again, I was just tunnel vision on getting Lumiere. So now I do have Lumiere to add to my collection. Actually, I'm going to take him out of the box. I want to see what he looks like outside of the box. Honestly, he's a lot smaller than what I thought he was going to be. But there you go. There's Lumiere. I thought he was going to be a bit bigger, you know, compared to some of the other pops. But that's okay. I don't mind. Actually, I love how he looks. Very much so just like the uh, cartoon, the animated movie, I should say. And if you guys... Actually, you know what? I'm going to ask you guys a question. Have any of you guys actually seen the second Beauty and the Beast movie? If you have, leave a comment section down below. Leave a comment in the section down below what the name of that movie was and how did you feel, feel about it? Honestly, I liked it. I'm obviously not better than the first, but I did like it quite a bit. And I had it on VHS because, you know, I grew up in a Disney household, so we had pretty much every Disney movie imaginable on VHS. But yeah, leave a comment down below if you know what that, where uh, the name of the second Beauty and the Beast movie is. And also, if you're able to, name who played the organ in the second movie. It's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty cool. I didn't honestly, I didn't know at the time because I was I was young. But when you find out, you're gonna be pretty surprised about it if I do say so myself. But yes, there is Lumiere, and now he will be added to my collection. I kind of have an out-of-box, in-box theme going with it. I don't know if you can quite see it over here, but 
Now I got to figure out what I'm going to do because now that I have Lumiere to add, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rose. The rose was a birthday gift, I want to say. It was either a birthday gift or a Valentine's Day gift from my fiance. I don't remember. I know she's probably going to roast me later on down the line, but it was one of those two, two occasions that she got it for me. Very wonderful thing to have. I love it. It went with everything that I needed to go with. But now, I don't know where I'm going to put it, how I'm going to make this whole aesthetic work since I have my villains right here now. No, it's just... <sighs> ah, there you go. There's, there's one of the woes of being a collector of whatever it is that you collect. It's just finding a way to make it all fit cohesively. But I'll figure it out. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't noticed... I did get my pop saw set up the way I wanted them to. Took about two hours, but I did finally get it to where I wanted it. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share if you will like. Whatever, it is up to you. But as always, see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Peace.